Using a calculator like the TI Inspire CX2 CAS can be time consuming and tricky. In this video, I'm going to show you how to define functions so that you can quickly substitute in values of X to evaluate the function and also solve the function to determine a particular value of X. Let's get started. Okay, so here is my calculator, my TI Inspire CX2 CAS software. This is the exact same as the handheld version. Uh, I don't have this one in test mode. However, everything I do in this video, you can do in test mode, so never fear. Let's dive in. I'm going to go to a new document and I'm gonna add a calculator. So to define a function, all you have to type is define space and then the function. So D-E-F-I-N-E -E, and then spacebar and define your function. I'm gonna use F of X because it's a very common way to define a function and we'll define this function as a cubic. For example, X to the power of three and we'll do a simple one. We'll go plus two X squared. So we have multiple X variables and we'll go plus seven. Okay, and when you hit enter, it'll give you a little done statement there telling you that it has now been defined. That's all you have to do to define any function. Beware though, if you define another function of X, for example, if I type D E F I N E space F of X, I'll do a very simple one now for time. F of X equals X squared and hit equals. It's gonna overwrite your previous function. So now if I just type f of x and hit enter, it's gonna output the newest function that I've defined. I don't want that, so I'm gonna go navigate up by using the up arrow, hit enter on my previous one and redefine it. So just be careful, if you want to define another f of x, uh, you can create a new problem to do that. If you, haven't, if you don't know how to create a new problem, uh, click uh, up the top, pretty much on my face, that's gonna take you back to my navigating the CX2 CAS calculator video. All right, onwards with this one. We've defined, let's use this definition now because I did say that this was going to be more efficient and faster. So if we want to evaluate this function for say X equals four, the slow way, the old way would be typing in four to the power of three going to the right and then going plus two times four squared plus seven, right? So typing in this equation, but with fours instead of X's, hitting equals and you get 103. That's the slow way. The new efficient way that you have in your arsenal is to do F of four. You don't even need to close the brackets. It's that fast and we get 103. That's using the definition that we just made to get a result or evaluate this function. The final tick from the thumbnail that we are going to use here is solving this function for different values. So we've seen that when the function is evaluated at 103, the X value to support that is four. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is go menu, algebra, and again, this will work in a test mode, and click solve. You can also type solve and then open a parenthesis. And I'm gonna type F of X equals 103, because I know the answer is four, so we can test if it works. Press comma and then X. This comma and then X is telling the calculator that you're trying to solve for X. This can become uh, a handy tool if you have multi vari multiple variables and you're trying to solve for a different variable. But for now, we only have one. We still have to tell it we're solving for X. Hit enter, the answer is four. We can do one more to practice. Menu, algebra, solve. And we're gonna solve when the function of X, and we'll do a negative number now, equals negative six. And we are solving comma for X. Enter, the answer is negative 3.24 to two decimal places. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching now, I assume you like the video because you are still here. So if you did, please click the like button. Helps me out a lot, tells YouTube that you're enjoying my content. If you wanna learn more about how to use the TI Inspire CX2 CAS, click the top link up there and click the bottom link for a YouTube recommendation. Thanks for watching.